This is uh, Colossians chapter 1. He is the image of the invisible God. This is speaking of Jesus. The firstborn of all creation, for by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So, two weeks ago today, uh, my wife gave birth to our first son. His name is Callan. So, yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, and so, six weeks early, so they took him away to the NICU at the first hospital, and a couple hours later, we went to go see him, and they were having trouble getting a tube down his esophagus. And so, what happened was his esophagus on the top was not connected to the esophagus on the bottom, and it was actually connected to his trachea. Uh, didn't really expect that. Uh, first kid, we're excited to take him home, and not only do we not get to take him home, we have to stay at this first hospital as he's transported off to another one where they specialize in cases like this. And so for a few days, we didn't really know what it was. Um, and so there was a lot of uncertainty and we prayed, we cried together and we went home and without a baby and he's, you know, 30 to 40 minutes away at a hospital downtown. And uh, I remember uh, laying on the couch and praying and I said the words, I am so afraid. And I just lost it. And I don't know if I've ever been that honest uh, with the Lord about uh, the way I was feeling or what, what I was going through. And so that Colossians pass passage uh, kept coming back to me. He holds all things together. In him, all things hold together. In my weakness, in my uh, desperation, I was finally brought to a place where I realized I wasn't in control, but Jesus was not surprised. He uh, knew what was happening. And in fact, he is holding all things together. And so really found my strength uh, in that. And I noticed there are so many promises in Scripture that the Lord gives to his ransomed people. It doesn't mean that life is going to be easy or perfect. It doesn't even mean that my son was even going to make it home. But it does mean that the Lord is faithful and he's holding all things together. And he's working all things for the good of those he calls. And we are being transformed into the image of his son Jesus. And so when I, when I thought about all the promises of God, finding their yes in Christ, and I, and I think about what Christ did on the cross and in the resurrection, I realized if I ever doubt that the Lord loves me or that he's faithful, I need to go to the cross and the empty tomb and, and stand there for a while and see yeah, he's, he's pretty faithful. He's faithful on that. He'll be faithful now. And so, yeah, we're going to sing. I finally see I'm not in control I don't have the strength to stand Brought to my knees My desperate soul Finds hope in your sovereign hand No matter the season I can trust you There's so many reasons I can trust you At the wondrous cross and empty tomb I find so many reasons I can trust you The truth of 
your word It's my only defense For my heart is prone to fear You're weeping with me My King and my friend Jesus, you're always near. So no matter the season, I can trust you. There's so many reasons I can trust you. cross and empty too. I find so many reasons I can trust you.
Today, I can trust you.